Hi, welcome back to a new episode of the guys' book club in the world. Okay, book club, yeah. And today, guys, today, 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 guys, we are on an extremely, 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 extremely special episode. Because today, guys, first of all, we are on episode number 310, which means kabay. So many episodes, guys. So many episodes. And as you can see, what is so special, you can see the quality are much better. Which means that I'm recording from my own studio. I got my uh, camera, my microphone. So I really love the quality of this new camera. And you know, it's it's uh, was worth to buy it. She cost me. It cost me hundred the shekel, hundred shekels, around three. $300. And you can see it's really good quality. So it was a really good investment. And I got a new mic for 100 chicken, and it's also really savage. Next week, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm going to buy a new, a new microphone and a new camera. So I can take those camera and the microphone to my uh, studio in Ariel, which is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's really, really good quality. I really enjoy. Yeah, I really enjoy the quality. So guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you're already familiar with the channel, welcome back. My name is Zach and I'm the host. And on this podcast, guys, we are working together on an speaking level, on level, and on a communication skill to stand in front of the camera and again, to communicate with the camera. I'm doing I'm doing this podcast because because I truly 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 believe is believe that English is the number one tool that teach for in order to be successful in life. And the second tool, this is going to help us a lot. to know that it's going to help us a lot. It's to know how to communicate well through the camera. And if you take those those two skills and you combine them together, speaking in English and appearing appearing on the camera, and you combine them together, you can create great 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 content in the internet and you can influence billions of billions of billions of people all around the world. It's supposed to, I need to look how much I know. Um, oh, I'm looking on the camera. It's yeah, I've <laughs> got a quality camera, so it's important. Anyway, and I hope that guys, and I know that sometimes it might be, it's, it might be challenging to speak in English, and I hope that by sharing with you guys, my own journey, my, so my, my success, my failures, my ups and downs. What I learned during the processing, during the process of uh, podcasting five extremely exciting episodes per week. Then the quality, I really love the quality. For one of the check it, <laughs> it's much more than worth it. And I think that by sharing with you guys, you say struggles, you will see that, yeah, people are struggling to speak in English all over the world, and it's not so threatening. And you can also do it. You, yeah, that is the legitimate of watching this podcast right now. You, you can do it. and. You can also share with the world and start to uh, work on English. And it's really important to my, in my opinion that you will share this uh, your moment and you will share that you will share your message, your message with the world. And yeah, I look like a Sangoku, like Super Saiyan, check board. <laughs> and I think that today, today I need to finish the, the work from a uh, university. This is why I cut back uh, to home to finish it. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to take an haircut because I really, I really need to make it this, make this look uh, good. Everything is looking good on me. No, am I confident? No, but I need to make it uh, look professional. I'm going to make the picky blind of the haircut. I'll take it all back. And let's see, let's see what is going to happen. So anyway, guys, today you see we got this uh, kind of cyberpunk uh, background. If you want to check out this, uh, this background, you know, you can find it. This background, you know, where you can find it. On three, two, one, kabang. That's right, you can find it on Goodfun. And this grand background upload to, upload to Goodfun Bananas on the Zenkipish Fun, our favorite, on uh, 18 on October 2019. And of course, we like the background. And it's downloaded. Already 3,000 times, 122 times. And guys, if you want to download the picture, that's, you just need to choose to choose to choose the resolution from your own. The resolution, the resolution that you want to download the picture. Press download. 
right click on the picture, go to שמירת הנושא של ניברו, עושה picture nice, אני מבין שנתיים דאון עם כמה ולא העברת את ניברו נלביץ', and all of us we need to guess from where you are all around the world, it's going to be a really 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 nice game, press on it, choose where to save it, you say I pre-save it, so you can see it, this computer, documents, like a book club, episode of friends on the 10, photo, you can see this is how you are somewhere with my, all my stuff, like a book club, I got to the episode, and the episode that I need, that I need to record, complete, episode that I complete, episode is my, this is a template, I do duplicated, go to episode number 210, photo, you are about to save it, press save and come just like that, you will get this, you will get this great background on your computer. Thank you very much for Kifish Fan for sharing this big great background with us, and thank you very much, and thank you very much for, for the artist who made this great background for sharing it with us. And today, as we continue with our journey with Kreshevet, Kreshevet is a great book by Gary Vanchak. I really enjoy to read it, guys. I really enjoy to read it. It's really easy going in English. And if you want to improve your English, you definitely want to read this book by your own. It's really going to get, help you improve your, 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 your vocabulary in English. And plus, it contains great uh, content, great idea, nice, really nice ideas. about Gary and Ivan, how he started his own business and everything stuff and everything. It was a childhood, childhood and I really enjoy it. Yeah. And guys, and guys, if you want to download the picture or if you want to check out the Gary Vaynerchuk like social media accounts and the book, you can turn all the links in the description below, so make sure to check them out. And I recommend it to check them out. Like them and, and, and learn from Gary himself. But nothing is a, you can compare it to the process of learning from the IK book club. It's just no way better, it's just on a different level, just a different level. So guys, before we start the book, if any one of you, and if any suggestion for me, I can put myself on the podcast, so if any one of you, I want to come to the podcast, big guys, the podcast to share with the world, this part of the world, just have a great time with me in English because, as you know, I'm a really nice guy. Please enter the comment below so we can arrange it. And of course, guys, feel free to leave a comment below. If you're learning something new for the channel, maybe something that I said, or maybe, or maybe something, a nice quote for the book that you want to share with us. Or if any one of you have any other life lessons that you learn from somewhere else that you think can enrich your life, Feel free to do it, to share it with us in the comment section below. So all of us, so all of us, so all of us can improve thanks to you. So thank you very much. And one is thing, guys, before we start with the book, before we jump to the book, if you enjoy the process, if you made something new to the channel and if you enjoyed, please consider to subscribe to the channel, push your notification bell, so you will so be notified of the donation of this extremely exciting episode on coming to YouTube, and now it's going to be five extremely exciting episodes per week. So make sure to like and share it. And like the video and share it with your friend. And it's one to three, four clicks from you, from your own side, from your own side. And it's going really going to have a huge impact on me. So thank you very much if you can consider to do it. Thank you very much. And right now, guys, without any objection, let's just dive right, let's just dive right into the book. So crash it by Yerim Vinochak. Chapter three, we start a new chapter on chapter three. Build your own personal brand. Yeah, this is, what, this is exactly what we are doing here in the podcast. Page 20, 10 to 28 to 33. Uh, let's see, to 33. And by the way, got, if you want to know which pages we are reading on the, on the book or on each episode of the book club, you got all the link here, all the information in the description below. The uh, from, 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 uh, from which book we are reading and on which pages, which pages. So page 23, 28, chapter three, build your personal brand. Read what I mean, the legend, the one and one. Give me some jump, please. Give me some jump, please. Give me some drum, please. It's your boy, AK, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see if it's... 
Damn. 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 Let's see. Light on. Light off. Light on. Damn. It looks much better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Attention, friends. Build your personal brand. You just read a piece of my story that uh, most people don't know. And it's probably the most important part. I will say it again. Wine Library TV was never about selling wine on the internet. It was always about building the brand equity. Some people might point out that if I weren't interested in selling wine, I wouldn't include the links to buy it on the Wine Library TV site. Believe me, I would make more money I had, believe me, I had uh, make more money doing an affiliate uh, program with wine.com than I do with my links to winelibrary.com. But I'm a businessman. If someone wants to buy wine for me, be my guest, however, however, so that no one can uh, accuse the funnel show, my nickname for Wine Library TV, of being an extended uh, sales pitch, I make sure that wine library only carries uh, 15 or fewer cases of uh, whatever I talked about. If I give something a good uh, review and it sells out, everyone has to go some else, elsewhere to get it. If the goal of wine library TV were to sell wine, I, had, uh, I would uh, make sure to have enough uh, product on end to serve my customers. Wine library, our store doesn't uh, reap commercial uh, benefits from a uh, wine library TV because of an, uh, because of an uptick in sales uh, due to my blog. It reps brand equity benefits uh, because people come to the store to see what is what it's about and uh, where I work. Sometimes they just come to thank me for the content on my blog, which I really, really appreciate. Developing your personal brand is key to monetizing uh, your, uh, your uh, passion, passion, passion online. Whether you are delivering your content by video, podcast, or blog, it's an it's a authentic cue. The one thing that is uh, guaranteed to differentiate, differ, differentiate, differentiate, differentiate you from everyone, from everybody else, including those who, are, who share your niche or business model. The thing that most people uh, don't realize is that is today that is the thing that most people don't realize is that in today's world, your business and your personal brand they need to be one and the same. Whether you are selling organic uh, fish food or financial advice or just your your or just your opinion. Monetizing a personal brand is not a new concept. A lot of the most successful uh, entertainment uh, figures in the world are personal brand uh, genius, like Oprah, Howard Stern, and Emerald. They build their empires out, out of being who they are and they're never backing down from it. But the major benefits of, of personal branding are not limited to the elite uh, celebrities. In fact, Personal branding is what gives everyone an, an unprecedented, unprecedented shot at uh, joining the ranks. For example, think about what some people uh, might uh, consider second tier uh, celebrities, like Ashton Kutcher or uh, Katie Rhodes. Kutcher was already famous for his uh, stints on television, not to mention his uh, marriage to Demi Moore. But there is no doubt that his uh, brand has blown up since he started uh, leveraging uh, social networking, uh, networking tools. Rhodes, the New York uh, Jets uh, football player, has been using Twitter which, with incredible success to make his brand bigger. D2C level uh, entertainment uh, figures, like uh, 
וויל ויטון, ברוק בורק, לבר בורטון, אנד פרנד דורסט, דורסט, הרבה דין גרט אופרטוניטיז, זה דביל לייקלי פרופל זם, פרום בי טו איי לבל סטטוס. אד וואי נו, בקאט זה כאילו סי, אאו מני פיפול אאו פולנג זם און זם טוויטר אקאונטס. נאו, יוז'לי, אייבייס, אייבייס פיפול טו אגנור זה קוונטיטי אוף פיפול פולנג זם, אנד פוקוס אינסטד און זה קוואליטי אוף זה אינטראקשנס. And focus on the, instead on the quality of their interactions with those uh, followers. It's a lot more indicative of how well their uh, brand is doing. Many decision uh, make makers, however, still, uh, still aren't aware of this important de detail. And therefore, the preceding celebrities uh, will benefit from uh, those niche, from, from those niche numbers uh, we are seeing. Where uh, the eyeballs uh, go, opportunity follows. First, but, my, but by no means the least, are the people whom uh, you might have uh, never heard of, who are uh, putting out uh, great content and uh, leveraging social media and killing it. Like Dave Moreen, Dave Moreen, Kinsa Seka, Seka, אשטג דייב מורין, אשטג סאקרן, ג'סטין אזריק, אשטג גיא ג'סטין וקווין רוז, אשטג קווין רוז. זה הפרסונל ברנד זה סקיי רוקטינג. And there is no reason to think that eventually they won't become our sold names. You see where I'm going with this? The first generation uh, built their uh, brands on television and uh, movie screens, radio, radio, magazines, and newspapers. And the new one will, be, will do the same, and the new one will do the same online at a much lower cost, cost with no need for a gatekeeper's uh, approval. Get into position, because a big killing is coming around the corner. The field uh, may be different. But the game is just the same. Title. Building my brand. If you watch me on uh, winelibrarytv.com, you will figure out my personal brand uh, pretty quickly. I'm the one guy who tells, who tells it, who tells it uh, like it is in uh, plain English. It's a brand that I have uh, been able to develop from a very early age. Thanks to growing up in the wine industry. I attend a $1,000 a ad, 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 ad testing, testing and uh, rub elbows with experienced uh, corn uh, seasons who had lived a long, a long time in the wine uh, trenches. This means that they had a lot, lot of, uh, of expertise uh, to share with a uh, Relative a newcomer like me. It also means it also means that they carried a lot of baggage, and that it also means that they carried a lot of baggage in the form of preconceived notions of how things should be. They had a swear and smell and a slurp and a spit and spit. And then spot the same classic uh, terminology every time. How the boutique was rose uh, petals or the finish was silk. I will stick my nose in the glass, suck it in a mouthful of air and wine. And the only thing uh, running through my head uh, would be, man, this really tastes like big, uh, like, like big league show. show. Or if it, uh, or if this isn't a, Watch, watch my, watch uh, my niche table. I don't know what is, I know what is. It's not that I couldn't uh, spot an A to Z wine testing a uh, lexicon and uh, didn't appreciate uh, the complexity of an excellent uh, vintage. I knew my uh, Malbec for my uh, Mon, Montepolicano, Montepolicano. I just didn't see why I had to use the same 45 cent, 
45 cent uh, words to describe my experience when drinking it. On top of that, everyone, including the reviewers, was drinking and uh, admiring the same damn stuff. Damn stuff. If Cloudy Bay uh, Stuvig on uh, Blanc were featured uh, as the best wine of uh, 1998, we would see a surge in uh, demand for it at the store. Never mind that as far as I was uh, concerned, uh, the Bechich, the Babich, was a million times better and the better uh, deal since it cost uh, about half the price. It was clear to me that the industry was stuck in a rut. And my experience in the store told me, told me that people uh, were dying for uh, someone to take the mystery, the mystery out of wild mind and uh, make it fun. And I thought, this, this I can do. So I became the wine guy. And that is how I built my personal brand. Not with wine per se. I for my personal brand, not wine on wine library TV. I offer my personal brand, not wine, on wine library TV. Every episode uh, gives me a change, a chance, every episode gives me a chance to share my considerable, considerable uh, expertise with other people interested in the same thing I, in the same thing I am, which is loads of fun. They also give me a chance to share myself. Watch me for uh, two seconds and you know exactly, exactly, and you know exactly, 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 I just want to pronounce it right, exactly, who I am and what I stand for. Authenticity is key. Now, that can uh, definitely, definitely be a double-edged, edged sword. I know there are people out there who think I'm a jerk with my jet uh, spit uh, bucket, my table uh, littered uh, with toys, and my colorful language. I'm loud, I'm over the top, I'm hyper. But I am who I am. I am for real, for real, and overall people uh, like that. People watch, watch, and they listen, and they even learn a thing or two, and uh, sometimes they uh, agree with me, that L, that L, yes, this uh, reasoning does taste like a racket, a racket, racket ball, racket ball. I gave wine lovers uh, the permission to like any kind of wine they like, whether it's a white Zin Fandel or a serious uh, Bordeaux. I cultivated another brand too, of course. The one that got me this book and uh, this book deal and the keynote speeches and the consulting, uh, consulting gigs as well as helped me and my brother, AJ, build vinyl media. For almost two years, uh, I was patient. I let people uh, get to know me and trust my uh, one guy, uh, personal, uh, and for almost two years, I was patient. I let people get to know me and uh, trust my one guy, personal brand. Then in October uh, 2007, I decided I needed uh, to scratch, to scratch, to scratch my itch. The world was ready to the world was ready to know that I was uh, more than uh, the fun guy who knows a lot about wine. I woke up one morning and I thought it's time to talk biz, and I started uh, airing, airing videos uh, of me talking about my real passion, building brands and uh, business and business. Regardless of which uh, brand uh, people are drawn to, my popularity stem my popularity stems uh, from the fact that I know what the hell I'm talking about, and that I and that I am honest. For all my charisma and uh, entertainment uh, value, if the content I was uh, putting out wasn't uh, any good and couldn't uh, be trusted, no one would uh, be watching. Watching, no one. To everyone who is uh, thinking out uh, to become, to everyone uh, who is thinking out because they fear the noise and the destruction of all the additional uh, content on the internet, you can relax. Quality is a tremendous filter. Cream always rises, my friends, no matter how many cups of coffee you pour.
אופורטוניטי לייז, אה, לא כיף. קרים אולוויז רייזז, מי פרנד. No matter how many cups of coffee he pour. טייטל, אופורטוניטי לייז אין טרנספרנסי. קונסיומר זה want you to tell them the truth. שוב, זה want quality and service and the value and entertainment. But above all, but above all, they want to know that a person they are dealing with is being honest. Entrepreneurs don't really have a choice. The lines between the private and the public are becoming increasingly blurred. And if people are able to share their experiences and their thoughts on the photographs, and photographs on a video, on video by spraying them all over the internet within a minutes after they happen. The days of uh, being able to con the consumer without uh, repercussions are pretty much over. So no matter how you shape and color your personal brand, honesty, honesty has got to be at your core. I come online five days a week to test and reviews and review wine. I come online five days a week to test and review wine. And review wine. It's like a book club, five times, five episodes per day, five episodes per week. Some wines some wine are tremendous. Some taste like horse dame. Do the makers of uh, the wines I pen like me? Probably not. Do I care? Nope. Do I sell some of those ones uh, that I think taste bad? You bet I do. Because you might, you might uh, totally disagree with me. With, because you might totally disagree with me. Someone has a wine, a winery who made them uh, shoot it. All I am doing on my blog is being myself and uh, voicing, up, and voicing my option loud and clear. When, we, when you launch your videos, blogs, or podcasts, you are going to do the same. That goes for everyone, including those of you who are used to keep uh, information close to the, to the vest, or you will us, one way or another. Let's say you are in a real estate and you love it. Part of the real estate game is uh, learning to put some uh, serious speed on a uh, on property, property, right? You pitch it as a charming uh, fixer upper, or a gem, or a gem, just waiting for some TLC. Even the appealing properties get the rose color the treatment. But what if you sat down in front of a camera and they posted, they posted a series of video of your... <laughs> but, but, but what if you sat down in front of the camera and posted a series of videos of video... But what if you sat down in front of the of, in front of a camera and posted a series of video blogs uh, telling people what you really thought was a uh, homes or uh, commercial uh, sites or uh, last uh, or lots you were selling? What if you said something like and got an ugly house to sell, not an uh, attractive house to sell? Seriously, folks, you've got to see this one if only to take in if only to take in one of the list. Surviving examples of red shag, uh, carpeting, carpeting matched with uh, fox deer uh, antler, wood and uh, creature uh, chandeliers. The sellers are uh, super nice and I would uh, love to get them to an uh, end. The sellers are super nice and I would like to get them the 360k they originally wanted. But I have talked to them about it and they understand that they need to set their uh, sites uh, lower because lower because this sucker <laughs> needs some serious uh, renovations. I'm thinking you should take a look. I'm, I'm thinking you should take a look. <laughs> it's funny. I'm thinking you should take a, you should you should take a look and at it if you've got uh, about a uh, 275k to spend dollars to k dollars to spend. Plus, plus some extra bucks for a contractor. And bring your imagination. <laughs> That's a bit. Name. Now, I know there are laws in real estate that might, uh, that might make it hard to execute uh, this idea. Clearly, I was uh, pushing the limits in the last uh, paragraph. 
but would that kind of uh, transparency out your business? Maybe at first you would, you would have a, a young time uh, getting sellers uh, to, list, to list with you. But imagine what kind of coin you have uh, in, if you become the most uh, trusted real estate agent in town, because no one uh, would ever doubt that, they, they, that you would uh, try to sell them a house you didn't think was worth the every dime for which you were asking, for which you were asking. Your listing uh, would go up, your listing would go, your listing would go up because sellers would be confident the properties uh, weren't going to gather dust on the market. Your sales would go up because buyers uh, would know they weren't going, uh, they weren't going to have uh, to deal with any BS. On top of that, you would have the satisfaction of doing uh, something you love entirely your way. And on top of that, you would have uh, built a solid personal brand, the no BS real estate agent that you can now carry with you when, where, where, wherever wherever you go, and use this leverage to find bigger and uh, better proportional, professional opportunities, and bigger and, and, buy and find bigger and better professional uh, opportunities, including book writing, writing uh, gigs, television appearances, appearances, and a variety of other media appearances. Do it. Do it right now. One real estate agent who is building a powerful online brand, or one real estate agent who is building it in, what I think, in a box. One real estate agent who is building a powerful online personal brand is then wet at www.ianwatt.ca. A-W-A-T-T.ca. Every video blog he launches as he drives around the streets of Vancouver, where he is based. Dispens, dispenses, learns the uh, thoughts on the real estate business and the state of the market, or uh, in the state of the market, or uh, offers uh, general advice to property buyers and sellers. Is is uh, live, uh, lovely, lively, lively, is knowledgeable and is crushing it big time. And guys, guess what we need to crush also? We need to crush this episode. So guys, this is the end of the episode. So thank you very much for joining me. And I really appreciate the fact that you, that you choose to invest in time with me. And I really hope that you learned something new from the channel and from this podcast. And I really enjoy it about the being authenticity and being something new, personal branding and everything. And I think that I also building my personal brand with this book club, great, the, with the greatest book club in the world. Even though that we got uh, 310, uh, about 310 10, 10 total views of the channel, and we got two subscribers to shout out to my two subscribers. Guys, you're crazy, you're uh, great. So thank you very much for you guys. But I don't know, it's, I am sure that uh, building my personal brand uh, with this book club will be worth it in the end. It's worth it right now because my English has got much, much, much better. And I'm really, 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 really happy about it. So guys, thank you very much, and I see you uh, enjoy the video for the time. And I can't wait to see you all on Sunday for the next episode. Extremely excited for the next book up in the world, like a book up. Until then, thank you for having a great time, and bye bye. Today is Thursday, day, ten on March twenty twenty two. The time now is a uh, twenty two forty five, and I came back to home to finish the last work, you know. And we have to get a really nice Shabbat. Everyone is coming. It's going to be really savage. I started to lose my hair, but what can I do? This is what this, it is. What it is. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going נשב עליה, נעשה קודם כל לסיים את העבודה של אודי, ואז נשב על העבודה שלה, נסיים אותה, ויאללה. נסיים עם העבודות האלה, רוצה לסיים את זה לפני שבת, שאני אכנס לשבת בראש שקט, יש לי מספיק זמן, פשוט נבוא, נחץ לתקתק את זה, ויאללה. נסגור את זה מהראש, את הלחץ, ולהתראות.